Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on create and remove physical volumes. So first, what do we mean by that? So to, to even talk about that, first we need to discuss uh, LVM means within Linux and a bit about what physical volumes are with regards to that. So um, LVM or logical volume management, it's a, a disk dis management option that every major Linux distribution includes. So it allows you to create storage pools or dynamically create partitions. So for example, um, say you have multiple uh, disk drives and you wanted to have it as one logical drive. So say you've got, I don't know, uh, hard drive one, hard drive two, and you want to be able to use that hard drive one and two as one physical as one logical disk. So you basically do the mapping between those. You can use LVM to do that. You can also allow it to dynamically create partitions. So stuff like resizing partitions and making things smaller and larger and stuff like that is a lot easier with LVM. Whereas stuff like um, the the old uh, standard partition managers like Gparted and stuff like that uh, are very flat. You just apply the change if you want to make it smaller or larger and stuff it's it, you can do it but it's obviously a bit more involved in this it also does stuff like you can do snapshots and all sorts of stuff like that so a bit of spiel about it it just says logical uh volume manager allows for a layer of ab abstraction between your operating system and disk partition that it uses in traditional disk management your operating system looks for what disks are available so you've got like dev sda sdb what i showed you in a previous video and then looks at what partitions are available on those disks. Then dev SDA1, for example, partition 1, dev SDA2, partition 2. However, with LVM, disk and partitions can be abstracted to contain multiple disks and multiple partitions in one device. So your operating system will never know the difference because LVM will only show the OS the volume groups and the logical volumes. So you've got the volume group, which is the disk and the logical volumes partitions that you've set up. So that's the only thing that will be available to the operating system. Within LVM, we'll obviously create a physical volumes, which we then map to the volume groups, which are the disks, and then you create the logical volumes or partitions on top of that. But because of that, you can actually dynamically resize because you're not tying it particularly to a physical hard drive. And you can say, say if you need to, you need to buy, you need to get a bit more space in a particular uh, area. You can buy a new hard drive, add it to the that volume group, and you're away. Essentially, it's it's really really quite flexible, and it can do stuff, like really great stuff like uh, some file systems don't support snapshots. So if you want to snapshot the file system at a particular point, so you can get a nice backup later, you can use LVM over the top of the um, uh, over the top of that layer, and you can have EXT or whatever file system running, you can still do snapshots. So f for most cases, uh, say if you're just using a laptop with one hard drive, a very simple build, you probably don't need LVM. It's mostly for uh, when you, if you have multiple disks or, or you want to have multiple partitions and you want to uh, be able to dynamically get, allocate space, mm -hmm. then definitely you should look at LVM. So LVM obviously is part of the uh, Red Hat exam, so this is why we're covering it. And in this particular video, we're going to be covering just the um, mapping of the uh, physical volumes. So in the previous video, we should have, if we go back to VirtualBox here, we should have, if we go to Settings again, just make sure you've created the new virtual disk as previous. If you haven't already, uh, please go back to my previous video um, named List Create Delete Partitions on MBR and GPT disks because that will cover that particular step on how to uh, add a, a virtual disk. So you can do that bit and you get that far. So go back to Red, uh, Red Hat. So we've kind of covered what uh, LVM is now. So what we do is we'll... Uh, We'll create another a new logical volume. So first, first things first, as always, go to terminal. 
Okay. Again, let's sudo. Save ourselves some time. So, first thing we want to do is, do we have any logical volumes already? And yes, we do. So, um, looks like as part of when I did the original build, I selected LVM by default. It really doesn't matter. Um, it's quite nice to have for, for something to, to look at and, and see how it's set up. But you can see yeah, it's an LVM. You can see the, uh, the physical volume. That's the physical volume name, the virtual group name, which is the name, the, the total size, allocatable. We'll go through some of those bits a bit later. Not, not go too much detail here. So first thing to do is let's find my um, volumes. So if I go F disk minus L, so SDA we know is the current, uh, the first disk. So that will be. Uh, the out of bounds, this is the one we want, so SDB, again, F disk. So now let's create. So the first step on our new disks is to create our partition. So let's just create a very simple one. New primary partition, partition number one. Set, uh, set the size, I'm just gonna let it use up all the space, okay. And then partition type T, set the partition type. You can type L to list all. And we want is 8E, I think, for memory. Where is it? 8E, there we go, in Linux LVM. So it sets it as partition um, LVM. So set that. And then we just do a W to write. And now if we just do an F disk minus L, we can now see a new device of Linux LVM. Current size 10 gigs, I've used up all the space. So actually it's a 10, disk, 10 gig drive in total, so we can see it there. Cool, so just doing a, a clear again. So now to create the physical volume. So again, if we do the PV display, we'll just do this quite a few times. We can see still there's no SDB entry here. So if we do a PV create or physical volume, PV, physical volume, create, and then we assign the physical volume we just created. So SDB one. Say yes. Then PV display. Dev SDB1 is a new physical volume. So we can see just the name SDB1. We haven't got a volume group yet because we haven't assigned one. That's a part of a later video. We can see the PV size. It's not currently allocable, etc. because we haven't got as far as that. So the next thing they ask us to do is a PV remove to actually remove the, the volume. So we do again PV remove dev SDB1 successfully wiped and again PV display we've got no entry there. So that is all we need to do for the create and remove physical volumes section. So it's pretty simple. So physical volumes are literally physical disks we're going to be assigning. So you, you could obviously have um, you can allocate multiple physical volumes to a um, a volume group, multiple physical volumes using uh, multiple disks. Just keep creating uh, physical volume, physical volume, physical volume. Then we can assign those to a volume group, which we'll do in the next video. And then we can then create logical volumes. That's as in um, like partitions on those um, volume groups. Okay, I think that concludes the video. Um, I've just put my, again, my Patreon details here. Um, so yeah, if it's uh, of any interest to you to, to support my videos, please check out the, uh, the website below. Also, um, I'm, I'm working with 
um, Sophos, um, they are uh, an affiliate of mine, so we're working to, we're working together to um, se help secure everyone's uh, networks. So Sophos have a home security solution, and there's a free version which is extremely powerful. It has uh, a load and load of features. Um, just straight out of the box, like parental controls and all that sort of stuff, which is excellent to be honest. Um, and then they've got some more uh, of the advanced features, uh, stuff like encryption, um, when you type in your keyboard, all that sort of stuff. So it's all prevents uh, prevents hackers and all that. So please check that out as well. I've pop, pop that below uh, a link if you want to check it out. You can um, you can yeah you can download the free version or there's a I think there's a, also a um, subscription based version which has all the features uh, to do. But I'll probably do a video at a later point um, covering the Sophos Home solution and um, how it could be uh, useful to yourself. So yeah, well thanks for watching so far into the video. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, please check out my other videos. Like and subscribe as always. Um, hit the notification bell uh, if you want to be a notified of any of my new uh, other videos. Uh, patrons will get the videos two to three days earlier than everyone else. So yep. Well, thanks again for watching. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. Cheers.